The Iranian opposition group Mujahideen al Khalq, or MEK, is pursuing a two-part campaign to get off the U.S. State Department's list of foreign terrorist organizations. One part is a public relations effort involving prominent American supporters. The other, a court case against the State Department. The MEK says it renounced terrorism years ago, but the group's bloody origins remain, as recounted by Georgetown University's Paul Pilar. The MEK has a history that does go back to the time of the Shah in the 1970s. It was a group that propounded uh, an ideology that mixed Islamism and Marxism. And among their earliest operations were lethal operations against U.S. personnel. In the 1979 Islamic Revolution, the MEK backed Ayatollah Khomeini and the seizure of the U.S. Embassy in Tehran. Former hostage John Limbert. They opposed any movement to settle it, and at, at certain times they were calling very, uh, very loudly, very vocally for our trial and our execution. By 1981, however, the MEK split with a cleric-based regime, launching a bombing campaign that killed Iran's president and prime minister. Then its leadership fled to Europe. The MEK sided with Iraq in its 1980-1988 war with Iran. In 1986, Iraqi dictator Saddam Hussein set up an enclave called Camp Ashraf for the group north of Baghdad. In 1991, MEK forces allegedly assisted Saddam in putting down uprisings by the Kurds in Iraq's north and the Shiites in the south. Then in April 1992, the MEK attacked Iranian embassies and facilities in 13 countries. In 1997, a new U.S. law put the MEK and 29 other groups on the foreign terrorist organization list. Britain and the European Union also put the MEK on terror lists. Then in 2002, the group said it had uncovered Iranian nuclear facilities at Natanz and elsewhere. The next year, U.S. and coalition forces toppled Saddam Hussein. When U.S. troops reached Camp Ashraf, MEK members there signed pledges renouncing weapons and terrorism. Also in 2003, French authorities arrested MEK leader Barry Rajavi and some 160 supporters for allegedly financing and planning terrorist attacks. Rajavi was later released. Today, Camp Ashraf residents are being moved after attacks by Iraqi forces in 2009 and 2011. But an American attorney for the group says the U.S. designation of the MEK as a foreign terrorist organization is a major roadblock to the resettlement effort. Alan Gerson. Do I believe that the maintenance of the, FT, of the MEK on the FTO list severely hampers their ability to be resettled abroad? I believe that fully. The next segments of this series will examine the MEK's public relations campaign involving prominent Americans and the group's court fight with the U.S. State Department. Jeffrey Young, VOA News.